He was fifth at the Olympic Winter Games in Torino and skated his best short program ever with a score of 80 points even. He's a showman, he's eccentric, at times outlandish. Remember, this is a skater who once said he thought about dyeing his hair blue and decorated himself in feathers to capture the <laughs> essence of his short program. Set to the music, The Swan. Well, this is so great to have both Sandu and Weir skating back to back because they really are the two most eccentric skaters in the men's event today, but are both wickedly talented. Second in the short at the Olympic Games with this triple axle to open. Good start. Triple lutz, triple toe combination. Excellent position in this spin. Triple flip, a little tight on the landing there. Well, we're only in the second to last flight of men in this competition, but the message to that final group of six is pretty loud. Don't make a mistake because these men, including this performance by Johnny Weir, have been outstanding. Johnny Weir lights up the night here in Calgary. Another terrific short program to go with Torino. Big American crowd traveling here to Calgary to enjoy that performance as two of the most expressive male skaters go back to back here tonight. He just looks so comfortable and so at ease throughout that program. His jumps were light. But just the a problem, great skate. The problem that's facing Emmanuel at this point is that, yes, he will very likely beat Johnny with the, his performance, but the difference in points coming out of qualifying, he may narrow the gap, but I don't think he's going to overtake him overall. Well, Johnny did not have a quad combination. Here's the look at his triple axle, a beauty. He did not have a quad combination, but he also did not have any major mistakes. Here's a look at his combination. Triple lutz, drives it up into the air. It's so critical to get those feet tightly into position to get the full rotations done and the triple toe after that. And the difference between the quad toe, triple toe, and the combination that Johnny did is about three points. You have to remember, Emmanuel lost about three points when he fell on the triple lutz. So this will be interesting to see how it plays out. Well, Weir attempted his first ever quad last night in qualifying and almost landed it, but he fell twice to finish behind Buttle and sit sixth after qualifying. But these men are being very calculated in terms of what they're going to attempt when, because it's so important 
If you're going to go for the quad, you have to be absolutely sure you get it up into the air and get it rotated or it's simply not worth trying. And the question remains, can you be a world champion or a world medalist without the quad? Johnny Weir of the United States skating to the swan from Camille Saint-Saëns. That red glove of his, he says, is Camille. It's Thanks, the piece Canada. of his swan. Hey, he's impressive. What can I say? And now Johnny awaits his scores in the Kiss and Cry Zone. The scores, please, for Johnny Weir from the United States. Sandu with the lead for Canada with a personal best just ahead of the American Weir. The and the judges score. now with their marks for the American. For the technical elements. 36.85 program components 36.68 it will not be enough to pass Sandu he has a total here in the short program of 73.53 that is the second best short program of the night combined with his sixth place showing in the qualifying and Johnny Weir is in second place now here's Brian